Most of Bangkok sits at just about 1.5 meters above sea level, and part of the Thai capital is sinking at a rate of between 1 and 2 centimeters a year. At the same time, the sea level near the Gulf of Thailand is rising above the global average at about 4 millimeters a year. Experts predict that close to half of the mega city will be submerged as early as 2030. Bangkok, with its population of about 10 million, is trapped in the middle of flooding from the seas in the south and monsoon floods in the north. The area had, right now, the ground surface is below mean sea level already, which means that without uh, flood uh, protection system, Bangkok would be flooded almost every day. Climate change is causing the rise in sea level, while the city's rapid development is a major factor contributing to its sinking. Unchecked urbanization has resulted in excessive groundwater extraction, while the groundwater recharge has been stunted by road networks that covered up canals that were natural drainage systems. And the increasing weight of skyscrapers have been contributing to the gradual descent of the city, which was built on marshland, a highly compressible layer of soft clay. The inner city might well be, be very well protected using dike and pump and other engineering solutions. However, people who live in the outskirts of Bangkok out of the dike system might be higher exposed to flood. The situation is worse for those living in coastal areas where shorelines are eroding, partly due to aquacultural development like shrimp farms, which sometimes replace mangroves that are a protection against storm surges. If we do not think uh, Bangkok will be sinking uh, and will be underwater in the next 10 to 15 years. Most Bangkok people are not aware of this future change. However, Bangkok did catch a glimpse of what is to come in 2011 when the monsoon season brought the worst flooding ever seen there with one-fifth of the city submerged and a depth toll of over 800.